After what feels like a lot of waiting and years of requests from viewers, I finally got my sticky barista paws on Lelite's newest version of the Bianca, the pride of their home lineup. It comes stacked with endgame features like dual stainless steel boilers, PID temperature control, a rotary pump, manual pressure profiling, as well as the ever popular E61 group design. But even on top of those features, this is the V3, so it's got a few more bits of unique tech. Like a programmable pre-infusion, a low flow mode, power saving options, and even a quicker warm up time. For all intents and purposes, at least on paper, the Bianca has features and performance of machines that are double its price. But as we all know by now, talk is cheap, so it's time to put it through its paces. Of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you that Lelite sent me this machine pretty much out of nowhere. They reached out and said, hey, we've got a new version of the V3 with different colors. Do you want one? And I said, sure, here's my address. And then it showed up. So this is my machine now. I own this. And there was no expectations for anything in return. So that also is nice for me because there's no potential for awkward email exchanges for a return shipping label in the case that I put out a negative review. But with all that said, let's just dive straight into it. For those already well versed in the world of E61 machines, a lot of what you're looking at, at least on the face, is pretty similar. These top two knobs operate the steam wand and hot water spouts respectively. Right smack dab in the center is your flow control paddle, which adjusts the pressure in the group, allowing for manual control of your extractions from start to finish, which leads down to the group itself and its nicely emblazoned shower screen. Below that sits the power button and LED control center, which sits directly across from the machine's pressure gauges. When it comes to water, it can either be plumbed in or use the included 2.5 liter tank, which can be placed on the back or on either side of the machine. But from there, this is where the Bianca V3 begins to set itself apart from other machines. As I mentioned earlier, the group itself is the classic E61 style, which is known for its internal heating element intended to ensure consistent brew temperature throughout the shot. And as E61s do, the brew lever is used to engage the pump. But from there, the flow from the group can be adjusted using the paddle, from full open to closed. But on the screen, called the LCC or Lelit Control Center, there's a plethora of options beyond the usual machine settings like temperature adjustments and sleep timers. For one, there's automatic pre-infusion settings, which allow you to set times both on and off from 1 to 20 seconds. The pre-infusion itself will ramp up to full pressure, pause for the amount of time set, and then begin to brew. But one of the most unique settings is the low flow mode, which according to Lelite limits the amount of water flowing into the group. And at first glance, it seemed a little redundant, essentially like another form of pre-infusion. But this setting is a little different as it can be used both before and also in the tail end of the shot, as well as in tandem with pre-infusion. It works by setting the start time, which is how long it will run at the start of the shot. Before going to full pressure, and then if you set the end time, the low flow will re-engage. And you can tell when these settings are engaged by the light on the power button. Solid is full pressure, and flashing is when program settings are in effect. But based on my experience using it, it seems to operate in a way that either assists or fully replaces pre-infusion. Also, in the latter portion of the shot, it avoids the increased flow rate that occurs from puck degradation, creating a more controlled, even flow rate all the way to the end. And finally, another unique function is the brew temperature offset. This setting allows you to increase or decrease the temperature during the brew, plus or minus 45 degrees, which can help you get the desired result in the cup. For example, like more acidity with cooler temps and more body with higher. In terms of workflow and performance, let's just start from the beginning. From cold start to brew temp, the Bianca takes about four minutes. The caveat there is the group isn't fully warmed up and the portafilter is just a little warmer than room temp. So waiting about 20 minutes will get the machine fully warmed up as well as the steam boiler if you have that option switched on. Now, if you recall my review of the ECM Synchronica, I have my complaints about the cramped and overall complicated nature of E61 machines. But workflow wise, if you go the programmed route, once you've determined your pre-infusion and or low flow settings, pulling a shot is as simple as engaging the lever, letting it run its course, and then turning it off. The other option is for my fellow tryhards. You can manually pre-infuse and flow profile using the paddle, but it definitely takes some time to get a feel for it since it moves very freely and quickly can overshoot your intended target. 
Regardless of how you decide to brew on the Bianca, whether you do programmed or manual, it produces quality shots, and that really shouldn't be a shock. Once dialed in, I was pulling lots of tasty, well-extracted, and very textural shots. My personal favorite settings utilize no pre-infusion and just low flow mode. Using just 10 seconds of low flow at the start, re-engaging it at 20 and ending the shot around 25, I was able to create some deliciously complex shots, not to mention very clean, simple, and repeatable extractions. And of course, I can't forget those who like to get steamy. The power behind the wand is very solid, and in terms of control, the use of a knob versus a lever gives me more confidence through the delicate portions of the texturing process. I was able to produce quality microfoam from attempt one, and it only got better once I swapped in the included four hole steam tip, since that's what I've been used to on Lamarzocos for years. When it came to sitting down and flushing out what it is I don't like or find quirky about the Bianca, I had a bit of a hard time, which is a rarity. For one, the out of the box pump pressure was set to 10 bar. At first, this kind of annoyed me because I thought I was gonna have to break out the toolbox, take off the case, adjust the pump and put it all back together. But the Bianca has a super easy external pump adjustment. Two wrenches and a matter of seconds later, I was in business. Also, I found the standby mode incredibly annoying because it was shutting off the machine after about 30 minutes of non-use. When I referred to the manual to learn how to shut this off, there was just a short mention with no directions on how to disable it. I had to find the solution online and go through this weird process of lever flips, on-off cycles, and light flashes to confirm it was turned off. On the topic of the manual, it doesn't just miss the standby mode. It also doesn't really explain what all the special pre-infusion, low flow, and temp offset modes do. So it took some exploration both on the machine and Lelit's YouTube channel to find the answers to things I was looking for. And finally, on the topic of the Bianca's electronic assists, it will be nice if there was just one switch to flip to turn them all off when you want to use manual mode. It's a bit of a hassle cycling through all of them, turning them all off one by one, and then setting them all back up again when you want to use them. I think the availability of a couple saved presets would be hugely beneficial. This was my first extended experience with a Lelite machine, and up until this point the only thing I knew about them was that their machine names sound like an Italian version of Mambo No. 5. But jokes aside, I found myself very impressed with the Bianca, even as a self-proclaimed La Marzocco fanboy. I love them as a brand, I love their design, I love their heritage, but this little $3400 machine when it comes down to it, option for option, feature for feature, and shot for shot, is just as good if not better than the Mini for nearly half the price and it hurts my soul a little bit to say that out loud. So if you're watching this and you're in the market for a prosumer option that's stacked with features and control, and it can grow with you as a barista, you'll be hard pressed to find a better option for the money. And if you're watching this and you work for La Marzocco Home, you need to know I still love you. Every relationship has its ups and downs and we'll get through this together. And on that note, I think it's time I wrap this one up and pass the conversation on to you. What are your thoughts on the Lelit Bianca? Do you love it? Do you hate it? If you're an owner, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it over time. And also, what other content do you want to see with it? Do you want to see it head to head with the GS3? Do you want to know more about the E61 group? Let me know your answers to those questions and any others you may have in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Instagram at Spermetheus for content throughout the week, my blog at Spermetheus.com, my coffee at LittleGiant.coffee, and as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.